if I just wanted to live to be a hundred, you know, 110 years old, what I would do is I would try to lose as much muscle tissue as possible. Mm -hmm. I would try to just do as very low stress exercise. I'd walk and I would eat as little food as possible. You know, the more food you're eating, the higher your metabolism is, the more muscle mass you carry, you're putting a lot of mileage on the system. You're kind of yeah. r slamming your foot down on the gas pedal. You got to make up your mind at some point. Do you want to live to be 100 or do you want to be really big and strong? Yeah, exactly. You don't see a lot of dudes out there, you know, and this is where there's some confusion because, yes, yeah, strength training is very good for longevity. Mm -hmm. But there's a difference between strength training and kind of what we do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, I mean, if you think about kind of human evolution, we weren't meant to carry large amounts of muscle tissue. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've, you know, kind of hate the term biohacking, but it's sort of biohacking finding ways to just put on tons of muscle mass, like just having surpluses of food that are totally within our control and lifting weights in a very controlled fashion. Of course, you, you know, you bring anabolics into the equation, things like that. But, you know, if you were in early human civilization, you're carrying tons of muscle mass, probably a very large disadvantage. Your liability. Right. It's yeah. just all this cumbersome weight that you're having to carry around. You're probably constantly on foot. And I mean, just the amount of food to support that muscle. I mean, it, it probably just won't even work. 